what's up youtube it's your girl megan and i'm back with another video and today's video is all about the my player builder and i'm going to be explaining to you guys how the my player builder works and some common mistakes that a lot of people have made when they're making their builds and things that you guys should look out for when you're making your builds especially when it comes down if you want to get certain animations or certain badges this year they have totally reworked the whole new my player builder system like everything is different and everything every attribute literally affects something either it's going to affect another attribute or it's going to affect a certain badge and you know how the badge counts every it's everything is just a it's just a lot going on let's get into this video okay so keep in mind right now this is a point guard that we're going to be looking at we're going to start off looking at the point guard this my player build is just specifically for this video like it's a 6-2 guard lowest weight lowest wingspan i'm just showing you guys what affects what okay so let's start out with the finishing so the main thing with finishing like as you see as i increase the driving dunk the driving layup goes up with it automatically so with this build right here like if you are someone who wants to get contact dunks you actually want to unlock the contact dunk animations to get contact dunk animations you have to have an 84 driving dunk all right that's for point guard shooting guard small forwards whatever you want to have those driving contact dunk animations the pro contact dunks you have to have an 84 driving dunk and as y'all can see when i upgraded the driving dunk the vertical goes up automatically with it now this is the thing you can get contact dunks but to get it's different kinds of contact dunks so to get the two foot two footer contact dunks you gotta have a 70 vertical but to get the one foot contact dunks for him to for your my player to go up off of one foot the faster contact dunks the better contact dunks your vertical has a, has to be a little bit higher gotta have i believe a 75 vertical i believe it's a 75 vertical for guards but for small fours and other builds it goes i believe your vertical has to be like an 80 for you to get those contact dunk animations if i'm not mistaken so that's stuff that you got to look out for and pay attention to things like that because all this stuff is connected and some other things that you guys want to look out for, you can see once you move your attributes and stuff like that, you know, different badges and stuff highlight and they go from bronze, silver, gold, hall of fame and stuff like that. Okay, so all you really want to do, if you want to see what badge affects what, like what attribute affects what, just hit triangle, like if you're on PlayStation, hit triangle to expand and you can just go through badges and stuff like that like it's it literally tells you everything you need to know like if you're wanting to know how if you were interested in getting like limitless takeoff or post or rather like up to hall of fame stuff like that like you look at the bottom down here it tells you what your attribute stats or what you need to get these badges at certain tiers and if you pay attention this exclamation mark right here this little red exclamation mark right here this is very important it's very important they really should have made this bigger but it says key attributes affect badge upgrade cost the key attributes for this badge are driving dunk and standing dunk I, and i honestly believe mike wang or one of the other 2k devs made a tweet saying that okay so you guys know you see like the the badge count numbers so to get posterized silver it's gonna take like three badge points but the tweet that Mike Wang had said basically the higher your attribute is the higher your attribute is in that category the less badge points is going to take so for example this build only can get an 84 driving dunk but if I had a build that had that could, if I had this at like 90 or 92 driving dunk it probably wouldn't even take me three badges to get posterizer super it may take me only two but that's how it works so the higher your attribute stat the less amount of badge points you're actually going to have to use to get the badges to a certain tier if that makes sense so if we look take a look at shooting i know shooting is very very important like look at all these badges that highlight and all the potential badges that you can get now this is just for mid-range and your three-point shot okay so this build, keep in mind, this build is 6'2", lowest weight, lowest wingspan. So if you're interested in getting Blinders Hall of Fame, Dead Eye Hall of Fame, or any certain badges Hall of Fame, it's going to tell you the requirements. Like, this build can't even get Dead Eye Hall of Fame. The requirements for Dead Eye Hall of Fame, you got to have a 98 three ball. This build can only get a 97. 
All right, so let's look at the playmaking. Playmaking is also very important, especially for you point guards out there, all the guards out there, any dribble heads. Playmaking is very important. The most important thing, the most essential thing with playmaking is going to be the ball handle that a lot of people have to pay attention to. Now, this year, you can unlock different dribble moves at, like, different ball handling ratings. Like, but for the most part, to get pro dribble moves, to get pro dribble moves and to be able to get those speed boosting dribble moves and all the good stuff, you have to have at least an 85 ball handle. You have to. 85 ball handle, I believe that unlocks pretty much all the pro dribble moves. But there are different dribble moves that you can get with just an 80 ball handle and like 75 and 70. But at 85, you're going to unlock all of the dribble moves. You're going to get all the pro dribble moves. It's different packages that you can unlock with different levels of having a ball handle. Like at 85, you get something. 80, you can get a certain NBA player's dribble package. And then 75, 70, stuff like that. It's just different things that you got to pay attention and look out for. But if you increase your ball handle to in the 90s or the 94, like you can't get Hall of Fame ankle breaker unless you have a 94 ball handle. That is insane. All right, so with defense, I believe the most key thing with defense, perimeter defense. All right, so let's look at clamps for this perimeter defense. Um, This build only can get a 78 perimeter defense. So for silver, you need just a 76, and that's going to take three badge upgrades. And then to get it gold, you need an 85 perimeter defense. Then to get the Hall of Fame, you need a 94. And that's going to take seven badge upgrades. Oh, my God. This build can't even get rim protector nothing like that. So you got to be you gotta be 6'5 or taller to get rim protector. All right, so let's play around with these physicals. Once you, you're going to notice, too, once you start upgrading some of your attributes, like things in your physical stats are going to move with it automatically. Like if you upgrade speed with ball, you see that affects your speed and your acceleration. And if I'm not mistaken, once you start moving your perimeter defense too, let me take all this away, see if it move. Yeah, once you upgrade, start upgrading your perimeter defense, it'll fix your speed and acceleration as well. But physicals are pretty self-explanatory. Speed, how fast you go, stuff like that. But then, you know, it tells you all this stuff, like, at the top of the screen. Like it says, this acceleration affects the speed at which the player can move in short bursts and when taken off from a standstill position. Speed, acceleration, then you got strength, and then your stamina and all that now another thing i want to talk to you about now so the free throw the like if you play 2k21 you know you really didn't have to upgrade your free throw but in 2k22 if you are going to play rick at least upgrade your free throw to a 60 then you'll you'll be able to green and hit your free throws at a consistent rate but in 2K21, a lot of people didn't upgrade their free throw because it took so much and it was, man, it took so much and it really, like, was costing you a lot as far as your attributes. But this year, as you can see, like, I can max out my free throw and it's not doing anything. It's not doing anything. It's not, it doesn't affect the badge counts or nothing. Badge count or overall. So, that's something you want to keep in mind. But you can get away with just having a 60 free throw. All right. So that's that on that let's use another build as example all right we did a point guard let's go for like a big a center okay what should we do seven foot seven eh, it really don't matter like look 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 at the stuff when you play around with with all this stuff too right Y'all see at the right of the screen how things are going up and down. The things that weight affects. And what height affects. Green means it's going up or plus one and the red is minus. Y'all see that over there? Your wingspan. Wingspan still the same. That's going to affect your shooting, your dunking, ball handle. Stuff like that. All right. 
you know what's the craziest thing to me this year what they did especially this is for the big man if y'all think about making a big is the weight affects your rebounding which is crazy that's crazy to me and y'all are gonna see exactly what i mean look at that at seven foot if you lower the weight your rebounding drops that's crazy that's crazy to me So the, that right there, that's gonna affect your um your rebound chaser. That's why, like, when it comes down to making a big, it's it's kind of tricky. Like, you gotta really sacrifice some stuff. <laughs> you really gotta sacrifice some stuff. All right, so let's just let's just go with something. So for the bigs, let's start as far as like with bigs. Let's start with the rebounding. That's the most important thing. Seven foot, remember I told y'all the weight plays a big part <laughs> in you guys being able to get freaking Rebound Chaser Hall of Fame. And that is a big shock. This build seven foot max wingspan. Y'all can get gold Rebound Chasers. To get Hall of Fame Rebound Chaser, you got to have a 99 Offensive or defensive rebound this bill can only get 97 now. How can you get a 99 offensive or defensive rebound? All right, we got to play around with the weight You have to play around with the weight. You got to increase the weight. You see that or we was at 233 We went to 236 now. We're at 98 238 At 238 that's the weight seven foot You can get that 99 Rebound so you can get Hall of Fame Hustle Rebounder. Look at that. You just need a 99 in offense or defensive. So that's how you get Hall of Fame Hustle Rebounder. That's crazy to me. It did not used to be like that. That's one of the biggest changes. In the my player builder, it did not used to be like that. Hall of Fame rebound chase for me. Six. Oh, did y'all see that? So if you max offensive and defensive to 99, it only takes five. It only takes five badge points to get it to Hall of Fame. Versus if you have one, only one of them at 99, and it takes six. Y'all see that? See, that's what I'm saying. It's very important to pay attention to this stuff. Very important. Playmaking, when you're a big, pretty much all you really need is pass accuracy. <laughs> pretty much. Pretty much. Pretty much. You need a 92 pass after to get post playmaker Hall of Fame. Let me see. What you need for this bullet passer? To get bullet passer Hall of Fame. You have to have a 97 pass accuracy. Oh my gosh. Hall of Fame break starter. You just need an 80. And then for the shooting. You can unlock different little shooting badges. Uh, you are not. As a big. You're not going to get. Like a whole bunch of gold. And Hall of Fame shooting badges as a big. Not like the main shoot badges like blinders and catch and shoot and all of that like i mean hey it is what it is <laughs> it is what it is but for finishing to get the big man contact dunks i believe you got to be like 610 as far as height 610 as far as height now let's see what you need for posterizer to get posterizer hall of fame you gotta have a 99 driving dunk or a standard dunk for the big man, you gotta have that 99 standing dunk. For Hall of Fame Rise Up, you gotta have a 95 standard dunk. Hall of Fame Putback Balls, you gotta have either an 80 close shot, 73 driving dunk, or 73 standing. 
Hall of Fame Twitch. That is going to be a very, very useful badge. You got to have an 84 close shot or 84 driving dunk. All right. For a drop stepper Hall of Fame, you got to have an 81 post control. Dream shake, you need a 74. Back down punisher, you need 85 post control. Post spin technician, you need 84 post control. So yeah, the physicals and all this stuff is pretty much still the same. All of it is going to do the same stuff. I'm I'm just gonna go so we can go through these badges so y'all can see like the badge points and the how all that stuff takes effect. We're just gonna pick some stuff. Oh, I didn't even know. Hold on. If you pick, <laughs> I didn't even know this myself. What does it say? I just was picking random takeovers. I picked the same one. It says doubling up will give you twice the impact of the selected ability when secondary takeover is activated. Well, that's good to know. So you can stack your takeovers. Mm. all right well, somehow we made a versatile paint beast well that's pretty much it that is pretty much it you guys i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope i help you guys out make sure you leave a like comment down below subscribe to the channel if you are new and don't forget to hit that notifications bell